Yep. Uh, yep. And Silas would never think that. Silas, Silas is thinking they're obviously either busy or they're or they do not think that they are up to snuff to attempt to apply. I mean, at least in Wolf's case, you perfectly know what he's on. Yeah, exactly. It is no busy looking at clubs. Clubs, mm-hmm. clubs are more important than silly sides. He didn't expect their boss to join anyway, because yeah. because you yeah. don't understand the greatness of my power. Sure, you have shown anyone your power. Nope, no, I haven't. I, I, yes. sh- I showed. I think it was Create Water and Mage Hand. I think they were the only ones I showed before. Mm-hmm. And the tech magic. Yeah. Alright. So. I mean, meanwhile, the party hasn't seen his re- water regeneration power yet, so, you know. No one else is forthcoming. Uh, how many people can I can I have as a um, group? Uh, I believe it's three in total. Three total? Yes. Also, I'm going to quickly pop to the loo, but after that, we'll switch over to Epos and see how he's doing with cl- uh, clubs. I have no idea. By God, all the way over to Waterloo. Hmm. Uh, was, was the list you put in the school chat, Bigby, the like complete clubs list, or just what you're taking? That, that is as many as I, as I heard JMX say. As well as a few of like general. We we didn't tell them about the other like kind of general mundane clubs that you'd normally expect to find. Yeah, yeah. But there's probably a gardening club on there, but it wasn't mentioned. Yeah, yeah, that that's fine. I also have to go to the bathroom, so uh, go for it. I'll go post that so that Jimek knows. Really, I think there's only like two or three clubs um that Ipos would be interested in. I mean. That's understandable. I mean, I only picked two clubs. Yeah. I decided not to go for the Mar. I decided not to go for the Sword Appreciation Club. <laughs> because so, because swords are such weird weapons. Why use a sword when I can have a much greater service area to smash things? I mean, you could just start your own club appreciation club. Oh, the Hammer Appreciation Club. No, no. Officially, it's Club Appreciation Club now. But, just, um, just for the confusion between appreciating clubs or clubs. But no, Wolf wouldn't wire. Like, Wolf doesn't care that much, actually. Like, all, all he cares about is just being a weapon, he just prefers to smash. <laughs> Remember, is that breaker only... Was it only bludgeoning or was it bludgeoning piercing? Uh, I think it is only bludgeoning. The... I think there's a mall that does bludgeoning and piercing, but... Earthbreak, yeah, Earthbreak is just bludgeoning. That's fine. Yeah. Like, exactly. Worst case, you like if a fight like that bludgeoning does not work against at all, like, you know, I'm sure the group can find a slashing weapon for it. Mm-hmm. Maybe a nice halberd. We talking weapons? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big, big smashing smash. things. I, 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 just, I discussed how the fact that Wolf didn't join the Sword Appreciation Club because swords are all clunky. Why would you use that? You would just smash. Yes, swords are clunky. More, more service area. More service area to deliver your blows. Why do you need that little piddly thing? Not wrong. Swords glance off armor. Hammer crush armor. Exactly. And a thing inside. Exactly. Look, Wolf has a very direct approach. Very direct. Downside that, I mean, downside that means Wolf, you know, is not really the most advanced on tactics at the moment, at least until he gets his professional soldier. Good news, though, I don't think the enemy's expecting someone to literally just charge forward with unstoppable money. Yeah. Okay. Tender, are you here? Yep, I'm here. I'm just okay. muting myself because of fireworks. Yeah, we're, we're here as well. Yeah. It's not even... When is Guy Fawkes Night? It's another, like, four days, I think? Three oh, days? Four close, days? Closer than I thought, I have to be honest. <laughs> so, yes. Clubs. Yes. Now that it's kind of more midday, the uh, Merchant's Lane is a lot more busier. 
But it's still kind of, it's a, you might have to like throw a few elbows and such to get through the crowd. But you can certainly see all the clubs that hopefully Big B pasted again in one of the chats. Please. He did. He did. Yes, he it's, did. In the, it's in the out of chat. Thank you. Yeah, it, um, though I'm afraid Ipus doesn't so much um, use elbows, he more used taser. Just <laughs> Okay. Like, uh, not, just, not, it's all non lethal and it's not, like, hugely damaging. It's just. If they don't get out of his way, just a playful little zap. Okay, so it's more like static shock. Than yes, his, yes. Uh, like, fuck yeah, I, I've, I've had a couple of characters that used um, prestidigitation, oh. basically, just like as a little static spark. Something that's like mildly irritating, but not necessarily actually painful or uh, definitely doesn't do damage. Yeah. Uh, I, at worst, he's doing non lethal. So it, it they'll they'll survive. It's yeah. just get out the way. I'm small and you're in the way. Get out the way. <laughs> Aster appears to not so much copy, but like as you spent time with him, you notice that like he just has this like air of heat around him. It's like walking next to like a space heater. Ah, uh, he's a fire mm. elementalist, whereas I'm a lightning. You you're definitely getting that feeling. But as you uh, kind of, I, like... I need to find an acid and a ice elementalist, and we shall just form fucking Voltron or something. I don't know. That's true. Better you all get elemental commixture and do like an ultimate attack. Oh, I want to do that now. <laughs> well, teamwork, teamwork feats are certainly a thing that you could potentially grab later. I know Wolf is going Earth, so you have the mix of Earth and Air. Mm. Yeah, Wolf is pure Earth affinity, so. Yeah, I, I tend to not like teamwork feats, so... though. Yeah, yeah, but we can potentially get them for free. Yeah, if we get them free from classes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that could work. Well, free asterisk, but anyway. Yeah. So, from the listed clubs, is there any that Amon or no, fucking hell, Apos is specifically going for? Wow, that that's a blast back. So uh, sure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're a short, mischievous spellcaster. It really lines up. <laughs> I, I work, I'm like one of those really old like sites where it's like list your phone number and it like goes to zero one zero 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 one zero 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 one two, <laughs> and then you have to like scroll down to eventually find it. It's the worst designed thing ever. That's me with names. Mm -hmm. Oh God. But, um, fir first thing Ipos will definitely be signing up to is dance club. <laughs> Fair enough. Big this surprise there. <laughs> We can just dance, monster. I uh, I like to Im imagine there's like a couple of them basically doing like a demonstration on the side to lure people in, and yeah. Ifos doesn't say anything. He literally just walks up and joins in with the dancing. Give me a perform. Come on, roll well this... again. Keep my streak going. Where's it gone? Let's go. Ugh, it it's a lot worse, but. <laughs> It's still, like, you know, it shows that you have a proficiency within dance. So, does Zippos have a particular style, or does he just kind of go with the flow? Please tell me it's breakdancing. It's, it's semi-similar to breakdancing. It's a lot, um... It's not exactly going with the flow. It's not a very fluid dance. It's a very, like, um, jerky movements. But there's also a weird sort of rhythm to it. it it's not so just random movements. So basically rhythmatic dodging. Uh, kind Here's of. Is what I'm hearing. Kind of. So one, I like the idea of the kobold doing break dancing, and two, you can build up static charge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's clearly not had like formal dance training, but he seems to have a knack for it. He has a good sense of rhythm and all that other fancy dancey stuff. He has plus nine performed dance at yeah, first exactly. level. He he has talent. Yeah, as you kind of join the uh, group, you get like a few cheers, probably notably from like the more uh, not gonna say monstrous, but monstrous races. There's like <laughs> a few goblins who are like woo. It plus encourages them to come and join in as well. You must mm. construct a tower of power. Of all the smallest monster races. He's really convincing in getting Shit. them to join in. <laughs> okay, sure. If us can grab... If us just gets what he wants. It's just... Jesus Christ. 
If us can pull a few of the goblins from the crowd, there's maybe even like hobgoblin. But sure, they kind of the dance club's demonstration becomes a bit of a mess, but everyone's having a good time, just kind of dancing about. Impromptu dance party. Basically. Uh, one jo- of the, uh, join in with the music club, get a whole cl- whole yeah, thing going. <laughs> one of the nearby kind of uh, performing clubs just kind of one of them picks up a flute, and everyone start like has a set of like drums, and they start to just go at it. There's maybe <laughs> even a guitar somewhere. <laughs> oh my god, I love it, boss. <laughs> you're, get, you're getting a reputation, perhaps. This is a, some flash mob shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> Probably with the amount of people and to everyone joining in. Uh, yeah, Aaron, Wolf, you can definitely, you know, hear or see this. Oh, I hate him. <laughs> you love me, really. Nope. You could come join in, too. Nope. You're boring. He doesn't even try. He just gets what he wants. Don't get it. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm sorry, and this is the only session I will ever roll well in. I, I am sure of this. <laughs> Tomorrow will be great. Yes. Um, but aside from that, I'm debating joining the MMMA club. You do have a spear. Excellent. I, I do have a spear, but I'm not really a martial fighter. It'd be definitely more of the magical fighter. <laughs> Yeah, and there's still a point that like magic people can fight martial people. It's just uh, different, and also yeah. maybe a bit more one-sided when it comes to first level caster fighting first level fighter. Yeah, but I'll, I'll put that on the maybe list. Sure. I mean, I will say that half the other party has joined, so it would get the party merged. I know, but it is it was really one to go with the crowd. Me. Maybe he doesn't know <laughs> about the crowd. I mean, true, he doesn't know about the crowd, and also he could pull mischief. Mischief is, is always. Now, um, aside from that, is there like. basically like an animal appreciation club that isn't the equestrian club? Just like more general. maybe like one the druids put together or something, you know? Yeah, there's probably like some kind of animal husbandry club. Yeah, he'll. he'll actually have quite a bit of interest in that. Please tell me it's a cat club. Just a club full of, like, the club room just full of cat. Cat cafe. Hell yeah. I so want to go to one of them, but my boyfriend won't allow me. I I wouldn't leave. I legitimately would, yeah, I would legitimately would never leave. Tinder, J-Mac. At some point, we're doing a meetup and we'll do it at the cat cafe. We'll do it at a cat cafe. (laughs) So expensive for... Oh, don't worry. We'll make sure it's paid for. That just sounds ominous. Look, we have connections. We can deal with this. Ominous. Proceed. Yes. Uh, but I, I don't think, just off the top of my head, I don't think there's any other clubs he's particularly interested in joining. Um, sure. But it's another one of those cases where, like with the Animal Club, he just walks up and starts talking to the animals. He doesn't speak animal, but he just starts talking to them. And he, they, they seem to understand bits, you know. He points them towards food and stuff like that. The power of wild empathy. The power of wild mischief. Oh. He, he, he's a face speaker. He can trick animals into thinking there's food and stuff around. Ah, okay. <laughs> also, I will say you don't have to specifically join clubs right now. No, no, but th- these no, are just... these are like the ones that he has interest in. Yeah. It's, and when he tripled. when he learns how to sign a name, he can probably sign up to them. It's true. I'm aware. I don't have to. Doing clubs right now, but Ash is totally the kind of person to get themselves engrossed into social groups as quickly as possible. <laughs> That's fair. Is is there any groups in particular that I noticed um, Asta joining? 
Uh, he seems largely disinterested in this whole entire affair. He's kind of, you notice he also kind of seems to hate just walking through the crowd. As people start to kind of like close in on him, his like aura of heat just kind of grows ever so slightly and people kind of look at him and go, oh, sorry. Uh, and just kind of keep out of his way. To a paramount to society, is there? Yeah, it turns out when you're already burning up inside, Getting surrounded by people with their nasty body heat isn't comfortable. Oh, we could totally do an elemental appreciation society. <laughs> and I would I be mean, the uh, lead. God damn it. <laughs> um, uh, you have the choice of attempting to form your own societies. Uh, <laughs> will you get enough people to appreciate the elements? Maybe. Everyone Can appreciates you be the elements. avatar. Yes. Perhaps. Um. Just quick. What was the event over on the left? We never went there. Oh, we never went there. Nope. Well, I'll be heading that way after club sign-ups then. Sure. Actually, after Silas finishes up his interviews, he's going to be heading over there as well because he's curious. The uh, group that was in Merchant Lane going. So well, half the group went for interviews. Yeah. Half went for interviews, half. Uh, well, we've started working. Erin. Did, did I ask what Erin was doing? Or did uh, she other just... than signing up, no. I was okay. And then I was looking for. Yeah, that's true. The... You're, you're a bit behind. Uh, let's see. I think that was everyone covered at least somewhat. In which case, yes. So, your post and Silas are going to the left. Is anyone, any more, uh, blah, 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 blah. any other destinations people are thinking of going? I suppose I can remove the event marker from there. And also from there. I'll follow. Oh god, Apos is there. Uh, wow. It's Aaron, not like Apos. No. Wow. Charming. Though Aaron, I suppose, wouldn't notice Apos, so she'll follow. Silas. You probably saw Silas on his way over, so maybe you want yeah. to follow him. Yeah. Well, I talked. I talked to Silas for a little. Uh, who do I like? Oh, screw that. Um. Like Silas, uh, I see him as a source of money. Fair. I, I think it's more she tolerates Silas more than Ipos. Yeah, I mean Silas sees you as a source of skill, source of skills that he doesn't have. You know, glad they give you money for those. That event over there again? We don't know on the left. Nope. Nope. That's where we're going. Nope. That's what people are gonna go check out. Uh, Erin got alone. No one's really paying attention to her. She'll actually look around to make sure no one's paying attention. Uh, no more attention than any attention you've already drawn to yourself by chasing <laughs> down a dude and arguing with people at the equestrian club a bit. But yeah, no, no one's particularly paying you any particular amount of particular attention, particularly. Okay. Well, <laughs> then Erin's gonna wander off and go stand in front of a door and not go in it. Okay. Yeah, when just sort of hold the black coin that she was given yesterday. Oh, right, okay, you're not just standing right in front of someone's house. And just no. Like, Let me she's, in! She's Let like, me in! She's in the warehouse, but she's trying to muster courage to go actually in the warehouse. Okay, fair enough. Shh. I hate that I do that so much. I recognize it when I'm saying a sentence, I'll say like the same thing at the first bit and then repeat it in the last. Yeah, like, exactly. Like a, but, what, but whenever you notice that, you double down on it, which is great. It makes me feel like a fucking noddy character. Anyway. It's because you are. No. So Aaron's <laughs> checking out the warehouse. Those two are to the left. Ash, Alana? Um, Good sorry, what? question. What are we doing, basically? Yeah, basically. Uh... If anything. Uh, Silas said that uh, he will gather you up in the evening to go to the magical thing. 
There is actually one thing I can bring up if you are having trouble deciding. As it becomes kind of more afternoonish, it's probably like one, two o'clock. The bell to the chapel rings, and there's a general change in the demeanor of people on campus. A lot of people start going, "It's here! It's here!" and start like running off towards somewhere. You'll find. Wow. There's a new building on campus. Wait, what? Appears what? a big white building, bottom right. All right, sure. I'm going to that. Cause that's uh, weird. interesting. Yeah. Like sure. Okay. Hmm. I've waited so long. <laughs> also, dark. Uh, technically, Wolf could be done with his shift for now. If you wish to go, also investigate things. Does, does Aston know what this building is? Has he heard any rumors? Nope. It's news to him as well. Do, does he want to check it out? Sure. Does it look like a lot of people are heading there? It does, but the building's also like very large. Think like community center large. I mean, the point is, it looks like a lot of people are going there. In that case, Wolf will engage forty foot move speed. Um, and zoom there. Sure, I will he can... say, uh, Alana's probably like, cringing in the prismality as we walk. Because a lot of people are there, and also Prisma is the outsider, therefore she probably feels more comfortable cringing into her. Question, does um, Alana have uh, Knowledge Planes? Yes. You probably realize that Ash is also an outsider. It's, it's true, but Prisma is like the outsider doesn't flirt with people, so... <laughs> oh yes, yeah, she does. Alana will trust her to not flirt with her because she's a very shy, fragile thing as fear of life. Does Alana have a sense motive? No. <laughs> okay, then you don't know Ash wasn't particularly serious. Yeah, no, Alana just kind of takes everything at face value. I made her a very blunt and character with no social prowess because that's, that's who she is. It's fine. Silas still going to event to the left? Yes. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's see who to go with first. Okay, I can do Silas very quickly, because uh, I'll tell you now, this event has been here a while, and the longer our event essentially sits around, the more chance you have for other people to complete it. What Silas will basically end up coming across is Huh, that boy is on a water horse, and he appears to be chasing a big shadowy horse as they kind of race past you running around campus. Hmm. Can you roll me a perception? Yes. Thank you. Perception. Oh. I am. Uh, that should be three lower. I forgot I st still had heightened awareness. Uh, whack. Double check some things. Take your time. But yes. Well, you've gotten high enough, I can basically just say. Yeah. You notice that the horse is wearing, weirdly enough, that the horse has one singular horseshoe and it gleams a very particular blue in the sunlight. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, you notice uh, Boy on Water Horse, so I'm just going to identify his staff, he casts a spell, and suddenly the Water Horse grows to be, what's the size above large? Huge? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah the horse grows to be huge, and he resumes the chase, uh, perhaps scattering large groups of students as, you know, they can kind of rush through. God. That's, hmm... Well then, that's uh Oh dear. People are joining the race of getting things, it appears. Yeah. Do I attempt to hmm. You do technically have a ch like a chance as it runs past to attempt something on it. I do, but I don't know if I have a good spell for that. That's fair. Yeah. You're not you're not really built to deal with runaway horses. No. The, 
the best that I can think of doing is is attempting to touch the horseshoe with arcane mark, and basically as soon as the that kid catches it, claim this is mine. My mark is on it. Wow. Which, but I I don't think Silas is going to be able to do that though. Uh, that feels like a very good way to get kicked by a horse. Yeah, exactly. And, and yeah, and I mean, so. how how's his bluff? In that case, Silas is going to do one better because the kid doesn't seem to be able to reach reach the like he has he isn't making it right. He's keeping pretty even pace until well when it is not large. Yeah, okay, but he hasn't been able to catch up even when large, right? Uh, when he starts getting large, he does slowly start to like make progress towards it. Uh, sort of like... equal move speed until buff. Okay. In that case, Silas is going to yell at him that he might be able to help if he w if he wishes to split the prize with him. Uh, hmm. roll mid diplomacy. All right. There you go. Jesus Christ, these are rolling very well today. Yeah. Uh, as he as the shadowy horse runs <laughs> past you, uh, staff kind of just reaches down to grab you, so right. you don't resist. He's no Silas won't. Fuck it. Let's just see he can. He kind of hoists you up onto the uh, saddle. It's not very comfortable, but mm. you're on. Okay. All right. How can you help? My spells are able to draw. Are they able to draw greatness out of people? Allow me, and he'll cast moment of greatness. Okay. Also, he's going to. Also say, also I have a, I have the a little ability to uh, trip it up if I need to. And just get me closer. Staff just lets a yeah as Ravel will start running. Yeah, and now Silas is going to start concentrating on Mage Hand. Okay, now we need to start looking up how concentration checks during raid work. Woo! Yeah, this is going to be annoying. But... So this counts as vigorous motion. Yeah. I think it's a 15 plus spell level. Uh, okay, so 15. 10. Oh, oh, 10. Wait, wait, wait. Vigorous motion. Vigorous motion. Okay, well, then it's... Yeah, I made it a spell level. Alright, then. Uh, has he gotten me within 25 feet? He can. Good. In that case, I will wait till then to cast this. Okay. Essentially what happens is he probably chases him like up here near the school gates, and Bruval puts on speed, but at the last second the shadowy horse starts to turn, but at that point, you're basically close enough to cast a spell, but uh, Bruval will need the time like time to turn after us, so this is your chance. Alright. In that case, I'm going to cast Mage Hand and attempt to perform magic trick. A uh, dirty know. trick! Okay. Ah, uh, going for Entangle? Uh, yes. I will make my concentration check. Come on, Silas, you're decent at this. That's just. God damn it. Oh, oh, you you oh. did it. It's oh, DC okay. 10 plus spell level. Made chance zero. You'd make that even if that was a first level spell. Yay! I did it. And yes, so now I will make my uh, combat maneuver check. Shoot. Horse, 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 horse. Holy Bam. shit. <laughs> okay, Silas yeah, is good at this part. It's got a uh, plus yeah. part. That'll definitely be it, CMD. How how does the hand entangle it? Uh it has ethereal reins, correct? Yeah, it's basically kind of like as if someone summed a horse with mint, so it's kind of got like a so uh, saddle and bridle. Mm hmm Since it's ethereal and mage hand is a force hand, the force hand grabs those reins and drags it under a foot. As it as it's stepping down, the mage hand would grab the reins and hook it underneath. Okay. As you do that, the horse kind of almost takes a tumble, but its shadowy nature doesn't let it fall, but it's definitely slowed. Mm -hmm. Go! Faster! Uh, beep, 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 he turns. 
We will catch it now. Let's see. How long does the your dirty trick last? Just one round? Uh, it it needs to make a. Uh, it depends on how well I rolled versus its CMD. Uh, CMD is nineteen. Uh, then yes, it will be one round. Otherwise, okay. it if it's five or more, then it's an extra round per five that I beat it by. Right. It is As still you... just a standard dirty trick, sadly. Yeah. Okay. Then, with Breval, you can get close enough to it. Staff actually reaches out his own hand to cast a spell. Okay. It succeeds. Good, nice. He's casting Day's Monster. Interesting. Okay. Hey. I mean, is, got... is, is this a living creature? Yes. It's mostly shadowy for the aesthetic, TM. <laughs> of course. Uh, unfortunately, he sucks ass. Aww. Uh, you and Bruvel, however, do get one basically action to try and either stop him or take the horseshoe from him. Hmm. Uh, horse, 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 horse. Steel maneuver through your mage hand? I can't, I can't do a steel um, maneuver, just dirty trick. Just, mm. just pointing out, Day's monster doesn't allow a save. No. Feel like it should. I mean, it, there's nothing on its page. Second level spell, medium range, target one creature. It says like days four, and that allows a save. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, all right. What can I do? Uh, uh Bravo is going to attempt to grapple while you. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have a large person set on him? Please tell me it's a con buff. It does. Thank God. All right then. You know what? In that case, uh, in that case, uh, I'm going to try and mage hand to uh, dirty trick the blind this time. Go for it. And I'm going to use my um, uh, my self assurance to give myself a plus one. Cool. So plus one on this. Nope. Never mind. That sucks. There goes that. Do you have well. any reroll? Uh, I. Do not. My self assurance is just a bonus. Don't think I have any rerolls. Yeah, Bravel. He's a horse. He doesn't really have hands or anything. Grappling is not his strong suit. Yep. Rip. I mean, okay. I, I can definitely say horses are hard to grapple. Yeah. Hard to grapple and hard to grapple with. Okay. Mm. A shadowy horse, in fact, will get. Well, yeah, can you take a tax opportunity? Because technically you do uh, get a chance I, to whack it as it runs away. I can, I have improved unarm strike. So Punch it. Punch it. I guess Silas will attempt to punch it. Punch horse. Uh, it's terrible, terrible melee. Whack. Uh, that Admittedly, if it's, if it's running, it might. Does running deny you? It like, denies you your decks. They see, yeah. If you're, okay. if you're taking the run action, yeah. Unless you have, unless you have the run feet. That's true. Uh, fortunately, it is a horse. Oh, yeah, right, the they have the run feet. Yeah. Uh, Bravel? Nope. Eh. You're doing all a great job. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> nope. Okay. Hey, I got this opportunity on him. It's true. You did. It's just the opportunity didn't really garner much. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, the horse runs away. You do actually notice that it kind of runs into a shadowy area near the sparring hole and just kind of evaporates. Huh. Take me there. Take me to where it disappears. Okay. <laughs> uh, Staff will guide Bravel. Uh, it's basically just kind of in the corner of the sparring hole, if you see. Mm hmm. It's a bit fair. You also notice a few people inside fighting the new improved Vilk, which apparently has turned into cannon form. <laughs> God. Uh, you notice a few kids being pelted by what looks like goo. <laughs> Alright then. Well, so I was going to detect magic on the shadows, see if there's anything special about them or if it's just... Go for it. And then after this, we'll swap to the larger group. Go 
do it. I believe in you. I mean, also, if it detect magic room is spellcraft. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Spellcraft. Yeah. God damn it! Really? I'm wow. sorry. I stole all your. Apparently, luck. my early my early rolls were all I get. Mm. Yes, yeah, something mm. magical happened here. You're not sure what though. Damn. All right. All right then. In that case, uh, yeah. Just wait yeah. here. You spend some time investigating with space, in which we will flip over to group number two. As well, Wolf comes running, Epos is probably attracted by the groups of people, same with Alana and Ash. You notice this large building, it is in fact covered with snow currently. Uh, as people kind of exit in, in and out, you can see the snow kind of melting, like falling with splats down to the ground. I follow my nice new hot friend very closely so he can melt the snow for me. That's fair. Because this is weird cold stuff that I do not understand. It's true, you're from a desert. Yeah. <laughs> but as you all get closer, you can see a sign proudly declaring between ways. Okay. I sort of urge my heat shield forwards. Oh, and Alan's joining us. Yeah. Apparently, warehouse was too daunting. Yeah. Um. Anyone with like a reasonable sense mode would tell that she is rubbing her eyes, and they have a little bit of red. But she's here and has now composed herself. Nope. I do not notice such things. I have zero sense motive. Then you got no chance. Nope, none at all. So basically, just Ash just kind of hands Aaron Bluebell to say, hug this. I don't. Keep, no, you keep that. Yes, hu hug the stink machine. Yeah, no, I'm I'm good. I no. Just give she just gives Ash a look like don't stop. I don't no. Go away. I don't want to mention I don't want people to mention What? But, but out, out of character, I'm imagining that's like the summoner version of pull my finger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I know that's not what Ash was aiming for, but that's just how my mind worked. Oh no, <laughs> Ash's version of Pull My Finger is summoning, is like, you know, summoning 1d3 skunks. Yeah, but that, that's yeah, not that as funny. It. That's not as funny as just having someone hug your, your pet skunk and, yeah. Yeah, I don't think most people are dumb enough to fall for that. You never know. Yeah, yeah, but people know. also shouldn't be dumb enough to pull your finger. Yet they do. Uh, but yes, Between Ways sits before you, slightly moist. What is this? I mean, are people going inside it? Yeah, people are just probably kind of going inside. You see there's a doormat that says welcome. Alana's just gonna go inside. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess we're going inside. So, so is it possible if, cool if his blood, guide is. Are you, Alana? Why would I. No, no I'm not. Oh. Okay. As a matter of fact, as uh, Ash, Ash asks, uh, Alana's going to kind of mutter something to herself in Celestial, which, for those two, I imagine they speak Celestial, is something along oh, the yeah. lines of a. Uh, a very weird way of saying light, honestly, and you would see her horn start glowing and probably emitting a slight heat. Mm. Nothing else will keep her warm. Stop her from getting a head cold. But as you all enter between ways, it's pretty large inside, which is probably expected because it's a fairly large building. It almost looks just kind of like your average shop, except for in the middle is this massive 
almost like a massive aquarium, but filled with bubbles with what looks like tiny stylized items within them. Uh, you notice a bunch of students are kind of crowded around it, looking in and going, Oh, wow, what's that? Oh, one. Stuff like that. You notice a few of the older students actually go up to an outlet next to it. Uh, you notice they put in one of the coin or some of the coins that you've been gathering for the various activities, and the machine blurps. blurps. Always all start to, yeah, basically. I think like when you're using like one of those water tankers and the air mm -hmm. bubble gets in, all the bubbles start to kind of just shift around and one rolls out in front of them as we kind of very quickly tuck it away oh into a pocket. Oh my god, fucking gotcha machine. Yes, you're finally from the gotcha pull machine. <laughs> uh, beyond the gotcha pull machine, there are basically shelves filled with various curiosities. There's potions, there's weapons, there's just general supplies, there's clothing. Socks, that sort of stuff. You see a counter where a man kind of seems to, well, you would say manning it if he wasn't also sitting there and playing a liar. But that is everything in here costing the weird coins? Uh, if you go up to actually start looking to things, yeah. no, it doesn't appear to be. A lot of the things have like price tags marked in gold pieces, silver pieces, that sort of deal. So it's it's yeah. basically like just the weird machine that's using the coin. It appears so. And how many coins does it cost? Uh, if you go over, you can kind of pick up from a few other students. Uh, one of the older students appears to be guiding some younger ones saying, okay, so if you can see here, you can put up to, well, I don't think there's actually a limit on how many coins you can put into, but they all basically give you a better chance of getting a different sort of reward. You, I've seen people pull all sorts of things out of here. I've seen someone pull out a bed. One of the kids goes, oh, a bed. I could use in a bed. You've got beds? Better bed. Mm, better bed. Double bed. I, I, I mean, it's already not sleeping on the ground. Does it really get better? Yes. Uh, um, you notice one of them sticks in three coins, and as it kind of goes in, blurp. Let's see, what do they get? Aha, okay. Out rolls a capsule, and they're pretty, whoops, they're pretty quick to open it, and within it is basically a card. If you want to, <laughs> presumably, like most cards, there's something on it that is important. Uh, I suppose if you desperately want to know what's on it, you can roll perception. See, can I roll Damn. perception? You wow. always have your inspiration. Wow. I, I apparently didn't put any ranks into perception on their boss. <laughs> Thousand years done, Jen. Yeah, you're not sure what it says in there, but the person looks pretty happy. Ash is immediately getting in line. Sure. But yeah, while you while between ways exists, you can either talk to the people who run it or oh, buy things. Or you can use the Gatchapon machine, which I can't remember if I gave it a name. Um, well, I will ask not. someone. Is uh -huh. this the only thing they use these coins for? Uh, are you aiming for anyone in particular, like an older looking student? Yeah. Perhaps? If you look to you. Oh, um, you're new here, right? Yeah. Ah, well, for the. Until the induction ends. Uh, I would advise you not to really spend too many, because there is technically a reward for whoever gets the most at the end. Um, but otherwise, uh, it's largely the machine, yes. You can technically trade them in for money, but most people will choose their, uh, to try their luck on the machine. Uh, it doesn't always necessarily get you something good, but hey -ho, that's the roll of the dice. Epos is keeping all of his until after the opening. 
thing. Prism LD is going to ask how much um, the coins are worth in currency. Uh, the values shift every. Oh, the value. That. Yes, and it's going to be. The values shift every so often. I believe typically it's more valuable at the start of the year. Uh, what have you got there? Ah, yes, seeds. You can typically get about 50 gold pieces for those. Each? Mm hmm. Chris Melody immediately calls over Ash, you're going to want to hear this. And Ash comes over and goes on, and they have like a quick back and forth, and Ash just goes, Wait, you can get 50 gold pieces per one of these coins. Yep, they really like to throw them out. Ash just it. slams down three ah. coins immediately. Uh, okay. You can certainly get your free coins exchanged for 150 Ash, wait, gold pieces. Wait, wait. I'll give you 65, I'll give you 60 gold for your one of your coins. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> one, I'm going to take one coin from you. Thank you. Actually, two coins. I'll buy another one. I'll buy two of your coins for 60 gold. 60 each? Yes. Okay. Wow, yes. Perfect. How many are you Zero. up to now? Five. Aww. <laughs> he thinks he's people. Wow. <laughs> and Ash just, like, immediately goes, I'm going clothes shopping. Bye. <laughs> It just immediately starts making. I, I mean, there was clothes here. There's technically for actual true. monies. Oh, in that case, yeah, Ash is staying and just like ugling clothes and just going like, "Oh my god, I need this and this." Prismality, however, is very much more interested in the actual Gatchapon machine. I suppose that's a good question. Is anyone taking their luck with a gachapon machine, or are we going to try and do the sensible thing? I'm pretty oh, sure I have a single no coin. Sensible thing. Alana has been largely uninterested, so she's going to go to the gachapon. Yeah, that's fair. I'll tell oh, you now. Alana, are you going to uh, the Gatchapon? Uh, I think so. And she'll just kind of twirl her one coin she has. Unsure what to do with it. As just kind of like pulls out a um, like a little satchel and just kind of tosses it to Alana. Good luck, charm. Oh, wait, what's in the satchel? Do you open it? Yeah, she will. Um, it looks like there's a miniature book inside. Opening that up, there are pressed four-leaf clovers in it. Oh, um, thank you, Ash. It appears that the bag is mostly just to keep the, uh, keep the clovers from falling out if, you know, the book were to display open for whatever reason. Alana is very delicate with this. Thankfully, she has high dexterity, so. <laughs> no, she would certainly put it back. <laughs> sure, you can wait in line and get to the Gatchapon machine. Do you insert your one coin? Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, do you want me to roll the secret layer or do you want to roll the things for it? Uh, that's a good question. I suppose I roll it myself. I guess sure. I can control my own fate. Roll me a d hundred, but plus one or minus one. Hmm. 
It's up to you. Let's go plus one. Nine. Ooh, okay. Extremes are always interesting. Yeah, uh, extremes. Unless this is a mediocre extreme. Uh, well, the thing is, with this, I tried to trouble Bigby. So I know he likes to go, oh, well, it's like extreme O. Oh. So it's either going to be very good or very bad. <laughs> so all the things are vaguely randomly set out. Let's see. Roll me a D2, please. A D2, please. Okay. One. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. You're sorry? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Can a, yep. Can you roll me a D3? Three. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll tell you now, you rolled weapon or armor. I was very scared that you might have potentially got a dagger. Oh, okay. <laughs> if these are worth 50 gold, it gets it's literally a stick. <laughs> Let's see. Better, better burn. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Give me a second. You you got a magical plus four Vorpal scarf. That would be terrifying. Thankfully, <laughs> it's not that random. Also, I imagine Alana's scarf would be like, "Don't you replace me? I see that look in your eye." It would. It would actually <laughs> just kill her on the spot. How dare you? I'm given to you by your god, bitch. <laughs> How do you feel about body swapping? <laughs> I don't even know if it has enough of a conscience to recognize it to do that yet. Maybe third level. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, out comes your capsule. You can actually see, even without opening it, what the item is inside. You appear to have gotten... Da -da 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 -da. Huh. Huh. Dwarven uh. double war axe. You thankfully oh, did thanks. not roll on the simple weapons table. I mean, it's better than a dagger. It's true. I, I technically got, came out with a, what's it called? Uh, a prophet. Yeah, Prismel kind of looks prophet. over and says, Oh. You know who might enjoy that? Wolf? Well, that's another person. I was thinking of Jade. You know, about this high dwarven woman. Oh, Very loud. That is true. You did, in but, fact, you know, have. Take your pick. I suppose a, a Jade here. I like, get a lot of people here I recognize. But... Uh, Romeo Perception. Yeah, okay. Here, Prismal Prismality will assist you. Hey, that brings me up to a plus one. There, you get assistance. <laughs> oh, do you have negative wisdom and yes. negative charisma? Holy shit. I have shit. negative everything. I... This character is min max for a reason. Fair. It makes it funny, at least. You do not spot Jade, unfortunately. Where'd you look? I suppose nothing else I will... And you'll watch as she quite visibly struggles to hoist this thing. It's, like, it's pretty chunky. It's 12 pounds. She uses, Melody like, will offer to assist you. Well, she what she's gonna scarf. do, she's gonna use like her scarf as kind of like a, a way to tie it to her back for now. Because mm. so, her scarf's pretty heavy as well, so it kind of balances out in that sense. Yeah, it looks like she probably is at her maximum in terms of like, how much she can carry at this point, without falling over. Whack. Oh, sweet infernal one. Do you not want me to carry that for you? You will see her visibly to what she's called that. Um, it's, it's alright. I appreciate the offer, though, for mm, Very well. you insist. She seems oddly determined. Probably mm, doesn't like accepting help from people. Why do always make things harder on themselves?
Oh, a bit underwhelming for a first item, but that's their luck of a dice. I mean, it's not that I mean, honestly. I still got an exotic weapon randomly. At, at least it wasn't a bed. It also wasn't a dagger. <laughs> That's my go-to. Here, have, <laughs> have, have a club. No, at the point where it like, spits out a club, I'd probably go, Okay, no, you don't just get a knot of wood from your fucking 50 gold piece <laughs> coin. <laughs> Holy shit. That would be hilarious. It would be absolutely hilarious, but that's the sort of thing I'll probably keep if for some reason you have a very bad luck modifier. Yeah, you basically didn't metagame it and go, no, don't do that to yourself. Like, if you've managed to walk underneath every ladder, shatter every mirror on campus, and, I don't know, cross the path of every black cat, sure, maybe you'll get a hunk of wood from the gachapon machine. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be getting that tomorrow then, shall I? Maybe. <laughs> you rolled really well today, what do you mean? You just you just roll yeah, like I've, I've that one with a negative ten modifier. Santa Claus just pops out of the gatch and says you're on my permanent naughty list. <laughs> oh. I have a battery. You somehow managed to break the entire thing. Just walk up, put your coin in, and it shatters on the spot, and you slowly <laughs> walk away. You destroy the entire economy of the, the campus. Congratulations. Well, I mean, I, I've already broken the magic si magical Simon says I can break this as well. Gatchapon's a little bit harder to break than the magical summon says. You you dare to you doubt my him. powers? Yeah. <laughs> and if you tried, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would have an argument with that. Yeah, I'll I'll wait until it dies down a bit so there's there's like no one around. Now he's planning it That's out. Oh no. <laughs> I'll just have to wait like half the semester, it's fine. <laughs> 